Hello, welcome back. We're gonna be playing more War World today. Something space planet. You do stuff. Okay, so um, in this game, 4x space type thing, more delayed, asynchronous gameplay. You play with everybody else on this map. Um, so. Um, in the previous playthroughs, we were just starting out. Now we've got um, a rather big colony going, which is why I wanted to come back one more time. Mm. And let you see how big empires can get. We're going to colonize a new planet, just trying to figure out the best one. I'd like one that has high mining, unfortunately, that would be the only one here. Which is because they have very low population, but we can work around that. So, oh, that is already mine. Well, in that case, we're boned. Then there's no high mining sites left. Then I guess we'll take this one, which also has rather low population, so... We'll colonize it, and what do I need to do here to change this? We don't want to change that focus, okay, there we go. That should do it, I think. Let's see how much food and stuff we make. So as you can see, we're making a lot of resources and we're wasting them, so we got to get building fast. So, in order to increase your population, you can build a biosphere and it will raise either 100 or 15%, whichever is greater. As this has only 100 people on the planet, we definitely will be getting a hundred extra, which is almost a hundred percent increase. So the rest of the planets aren't building anything that I know of, so we'll quickly just build a biosphere here. A biosphere here isn't possible anymore. It has all the resources it needs, so a silo will be really handy, because we do not have sufficient resource stacking here yet. Here it's at one population away from its maximum, but it's taking forever to do so. So I just advise, don't go, don't waste your time on getting, trying to get that extra one population. And instead, just try and um, build as much as you can. There we go. So our focus for food needs to stay on 21. 39 to build is mu way too much. And since we can always use some more minerals, I advise keeping building around 25. That should do to be fast enough, but not incredibly fast, so that you burn through resources too strongly. This is only going to take a few minutes. I think we still... No. Okay, that's all we've got. I think everything is building on this planet right now. We do have a lot of plants to go through, so this will be a slightly longer playthrough, which will take us about 20 minutes. I now do it around twice, maybe three times maximum a day. I just let everything build out, then come back when everything is built out on most of the plants rebuild a stock and just let it go like that because otherwise you'd have to come back every two three minutes but if that's your style you can definitely play it like that too just remind um be mindful that um you do need an internet connection so if you're out and you only you do not have 3g you're not going to be able to play this game since it has to be locked into the world at all times since it's an mmo um Let's see here. I think our best bet right now is to go to our Empire screen. 
and look at our colonies. Wait, let's see. I have 46 planets. You start with one, so that's already quite, quite money. So we'll go through a list here. First you want to do, well, I want to do is collect taxes since they've been building up for quite some time and I've been low on funds since I've gone out to explore yesterday. It'll probably take a while before it gets there. So I know which ones are my remote planets. These ones I want to view like this because the map has um, kind of an issue to try and locate stuff. So I advise just going to your empire screen. Here again, we'll be probably facing that on every planet. We do not, we are not building anything anymore, so we've stacked up our resources. So you want to make sure that you, when you do the two, three times a day, that you come back in time to build enough resources so that you don't waste anything. So if you're mining something and now you've reached a cap here, it's 2,000 because I do have some silos here. Then you lose the rest of your mining production, and that's kind of a shame. You shouldn't be doing that. Well, I shouldn't be doing that. You'll probably not have that thing to worry about, because you're not as lazy as me, and you probably will be doing this more often. Um, oh, that's right. I've got a plan here now, too. As you can see, this one has still a lot of natives on it. But first, I'd like to build out this colony. We're going to build a shipyard there, so we can start producing some ships to try and attack these natives. We'll also probably send um, a few teams over there. But we'll see that later. First, got to make sure we build everything, because as you can see, everywhere... Mm, we've kept our resources and that's definitely something you want to avoid oh this one needs a research laboratory well that'll slow down our resources a lot because the research laboratory when you're starting out I advise doing the research laboratory before you go to sleep or before a long time of inactivity because it will require a lot of resources, it requires a thousand minerals. So the chances of you not having those at the time is quite high. But since you can't upkeep your production while you're sleeping, it will gradually build up and build up and build up while you're away. And that would be a good time to try and get a thousand resources. So you don't have to wait it out or plan it or like build up and get a thousand resources and then do it also one of my solar systems you can't change the name right now one of them is called Herder I'm uh... that was quite funny when that happens I think we've just been here yeah mm. be mindful it might take some time as you can see there's a lot of loading screens things going on I think we I've done this one as well. Yes. Depending on what device you're playing, of course, that might differ. Right now I'm playing this on the PC, so it is not on PC, it's an Android game but with uh Blue Stacks the emulator, which I've discussed in previous streams. You can play this as well and it works quite well. This one is still building, that's pretty cool. And here as well, we'll need to send a party if we want to try and colonize some more. But we'll manage that later. First, you want to make sure everything is building something. That should be the main priority, then exploring and attacking. Hmm... Which one of these are mine? That's an issue that would be nice if it was addressed. It's kind of hard if you have a larger colony. It's hard to try and decipher which 
of your planets are in that system or when you build something it doesn't show you which planet exactly has built something so it can be a little tricky to try and um, scope out there we go we'll build a, f a few more people on here since it's gradually getting towards its limit that should be it for the remote planets, then we'll go one more. I think this one is brand new, so yeah, it'll probably be still doing things on its own. So, now that we've gotten that, step two is to make sure everything is building. I should be being uh, sending out my colony ships since those take forever, but we'll get into that later. First, I want to make sure that I'm building enough. So most of these planets that you'll see now have already tapped out all the buildings that they can produce. So the only thing you can do now is churn out war units depending on what you want to do. Either fighters or troop carriers. Fighters attack other fighters and other ships on distant planets while troop carriers only serve to um, attack colonies there we go so if you for instance wait we'll go back this planet would have 416 defense so you would need over 416 troop carriers to attack and destroy it to make sure that you can colonize it You can also enhance that by producing ground shields, more people. And most of these plants should average at around 400 something defense once you've done so. So as you can see, you can once you've tapped out, it, you can pretty fairly quickly try and build new material, excuse me. since it doesn't require a lot of thoughts past that mm. there we go I'm just going to build a ton of fighters here maybe have a few people build troop carriers so we can uh, go attack those colonies we've been talking about on other planets those that um, we've already colonized because before you can colonize another planet you have to take out all remaining enemy ships that are surrounding that solar system otherwise they'll your colony ships will be attacked and they'll die and since they cost a lot I highly do not advise just running up in there um, good this one was one that I did rather trickily I sent in my colony ship first and then afterwards sent in troops and I was a bit scared because there would not be a second attempt to bring in oh we kinda crashed but that happens sometimes what was I saying oh yeah there wouldn't have been enough time for a second volley so it was kind of um, tricky there for the moment but I did plan it well at around 4 a.m. this morning these silos as you can see you're, you're going probably going to have to um, build multiple in order to keep up with larger production in planets this planet is really interesting I've been uh, monitoring for a while it has been gradually dying over time which is pretty cool to see just to see how the game mechanics works hmm. more building 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 we have a lot of resources to destroy 
So I'm not even... Usually you would um, pinpoint the exact amount that you want so that you make, can make sure that you're not wasting resources. But here I'll probably make them back by the time everything is done so it doesn't really matter. Otherwise, I do advise counting out your steps very well. You'll probably see how much you're making before, since if nothing's producing, you'll see how much you're making, and you can deduce how many how many hours it will take until you can acquire the amount of resources you need, and with that, I would calculate the optimal time, optimal focus for your planet to try and build as much as you can in as little time as possible. It can be a little tricky, but um, that's only for smaller colonies. On larger colonies, I just... I would do this this way. It's going to be a lot less cumbersome. You might... You might lose um, a few hours here and there, but you'll retain your sanity. As you can see here, I have 12,000 almost 12,000 in production and it's still not enough. I still need more silos in order to keep up with production if I if I go to sleep or something like that. You can't be on there all the time. That's just straight up madness. There we go. Gonna be churning out troop carriers since there's already 2,000 fighters on this plant, on this solar system and um, you use up troop carriers a lot you're gonna use up fighters a lot too it's not bad but troop carriers die at a rate of one per defense unit so you need a lot of them well uh, if you're going to destroy a lot of natives and or other players I haven't been destroying other players that much just inactive accounts if people go offline you will see that um, their activity has stopped, they have not produced anything, they have not expanded in ages. Nothing has changed there, so... I've taken over a few because um, the starting planet, Haug it was, if um, you remember from seeing a bit earlier, is was the least optimal you can get there. There's two planets, just two planets, you start on a random solar system, you can have up to seven, so players that start with up to seven will have much, much better cornerstones to start from. So I've been expanding to players who have had more efficient solar systems, who have been inactive. There's also a few active ones, but I'm not really interested in the PvP right now to do that. I could, probably, I think there's a few below me that are weaker than me, but I don't really want to bother them. Would be interesting to see, though, but um, I doubt right now the, the balance of the game towards higher end players is um, a bit too strong because there's no really repercussions for building a lot so you can just keep churning out and if they, if I'm going up against a player that has 10 planets and I have 40 planets there's just no way they can win because I can build out four times the amount of production that they can to send a war machine the only thing that matters is money I'll be spending more money since they'll be on the defensive. They won't need to spend any money except to accelerate buildings. I'll need to spend money in order to go over there to their planets and attack because fuel here is the main source of money. Hmm. Since there's fires here and I have a colony ship here we'll uh, take a little break and boom send them over as you can see it takes forever to take there and it's a colony ships require the most money to move around so just one colony ship will take about 18 hours and will cost 600 bucks just to move a tiny increment over there so you can wonder what happens if I have to send it over there we'll try and see if we can do that too
It's going to take a moment to process. Come on. There we go. Oh, that one was already going over there. Well, we can't stop it now. Let's see, do we have a ship here? Nope. Do we have one here? Nope. Well, we'll have to wait a little then. Nope. I've just gotten a message that says research laboratory has been completed. Now it's fairly obvious to me because I just happened to click the first one at the correct time, but otherwise it can be pretty hard to figure out. As you can see now, we've stocked up on enough food and I'm making way too much, so we're going to slide it down a tick and see what we can do. There we go. That'll give us more. We're still, we'll still make zero population, but it actually increases just an increment. So we're going to just keep it around for a while, see if we can push it a little further. Here too, because we can still make three. From the moment, it seems like there's not going to be a, to be an additional push. Just cut it out and um, just focus on production, because. The, the, like two, three people are not really worth it to lose three or four days of production rates. Um, I think we're done with all the production. So, do we still have... Let's go into fleets and see if we still have colony ships that are doing nothing. Yes, we do on this plant here. Can we still colonize these plants? Yes we can and we should. Boom. Again very low population only 150. So the first thing you'll want to build is a biosphere and make sure that you get more people which will increase also the production rates also the mining etc etc. More is better, is what I'm saying in short. Uh, don't make these types of plants produce any food. Just try and counteract that with your plants that are proficient in food production. Because otherwise you'll just end up wasting a lot of time. There we go. That's more than plenty. And it'll also give us a buffer if this planet grows larger and larger. Uh, the amount of food production that you receive will diminish until you'll have to adjust it again. So another bug that sometimes happens is... Um, oh. There we go. It's, it's quite tricky to update. As you can see, this person, I think, is active. There's also a person on the other side. But we gotta go all the way here. I don't... Oh, I hadn't seen this one before. Doesn't matter. The map can sometimes also um, glitch a lot. As you can see, suddenly there's a guy there. Well, I can't find him back, so... None of these people should be too hard to take out, but I think this one is the active one. That's just a remote planet, it seems. So, there must be more behind that that we're not seeing. Um, let's go back to our empire, to our fleet, see what else we can colonize. 
Those are all moving. Those are vacant. We'll have to split those up. Otherwise, you send both of them at the same time. So always be sure you do that for your colony ships and your scouts because you only need one scout in order to get the scout report and they'll die anyway. So you don't really need to do all that effort. More production rates came back to us. There we go. Those are the only two colony ships left. And we'll send those out too and then we'll be done for now. So, the colony ships, I want to send them out to plants that I've been scoping out before. And by which I mean there should already be some... Um, some fighters on there, as you can see there, for instance. That should be an easy one. But I also want to colonize a new planet. There, there's already something on the way. Oh, that's the wrong section. There we go. There's already something on the way here. I don't think we have anything left. We could be looking at the the situation reports. Perhaps we should do that and see which scouts came back. Oh. Mm -hmm. Thirds, move, move, layer. I have a somewhat an idea of where all these plans are. I do not really know where Tobia is. I think underneath thirds. Yes, but there should be already a colony ships moving towards there. There is not, but we'll let these people sort that out. We need to find a planet that's here somewhere. That we've already sent people to. How's this one doing? Well, it's already building one, so that would be kind of a waste. Hmm, tough decision, tough decision. Well, I'll let that slide for now, and I'll try and figure it out on my own. Maybe send out more scouts before. Maybe we should, maybe we should do that. Try and find a suitable colony first. I know this one isn't, but um, we'll just use it as an example. So my personal view is not to just try and get every planet in your range, but um, be selective about it. So this one would be good enough, this one would be good enough, that one is a bit lacking, that one is a bit lacking, that one is a bit lacking, lacking, and definitely lacking. So the majority is poor, so you wouldn't want to colonize there. You could, but it'd be more effort than it's worth. So what you want to do is just fan out that one, that one, that one. Nope. Yeah. We could, we could. Let's say we should do that. So what we do now, for now, is... um. The only action that you want to do is just send out a scout real quick. Just one. It'll get there as soon as possible, get a scout report, you'll find out how many ships are on the planet. Then you send out your fighters and feel free to already send out your colony ships if you're confident that you'll win. So there we go. I think we've seen everything so far. We now have 47 planets around 13,000 ships, a whole bunch of stuff that we can do. And we'll continue to rise up. There's also a chat portion. There's more than enough to go around. It's completely free, I should add. There's no in-app purchases, none of that mess. It's constantly being updated every two or three days 
the developers constantly in there trying to make sure that the bugs stay as limited as possible because it's just been released. It's alpha. I highly suggest checking it out if you're looking for a game to casually play two, three times a day. Create an empire, try and get as much as you can. And maybe at some point just try and fight some people off. That would be cool too. So that'll be it for our stream. Thanks for watching once more and um, we'll see you again.